Hakeem Kagundu, 32, is one of just 60 people in the UK handed this rare whole life order, just as Holgate said, meaning he will never leave prison. He previously pleaded guilty to two counts of murder, two counts of grievous bodily harm, and one count of arson with intent to endanger life. Sentencing the murderer, Justice Holgate called it a horrifying attack, and that he intended to cause as much damage and harm as possible, and in particular he intended to cause the deaths. Justice Holgate said, he planned to commit the attack at night because that would reduce the chance of residents discovering the huge amount of petrol. He continued, I do not accept that any real remorse has been shown, the acceptance of guilt, yes, but not remorse. Kagundu made a voice note of his intention to cause death, bought 50 litres of petrol and poured it on the ground floor of his former home before igniting the fire on December 15. The two-day sentencing, which started on Thursday, comes almost 11 months after Kagundu committed arson and handed himself into Reading Police Station the same day. While he expressed his anger at everything to an officer on the station phone, Richard Burgess and Neil Morris were dying in the fire and other residents hurled themselves from Roe Court. The prosecution and defence disagreed over the extent to which Kagundu premeditated his crimes and whether a whole life sentence was necessary. What I'm trying to stress is that this isn't a calm, linear set of decisions taken by the defendant leading inextricably to a specific date and a specific time, said Rosina Cottage QC, defending. She said, it is clear that he is not thinking in a way that right-minded, calm, rational people do. On November 28, Kagundu purchased two 20-litre jerry cans on eBay, and on December 9 he recorded a voice note outlining his desire to kill people. Two days after recording the voice note, December 11, he hired a car and filled the cans at BP Garage on Oxford Road and Shell in Basingstoke Road, the prosecution told the court on Thursday. But the defense argued the voice note Kagundu recorded on December 9 did not clearly indicate that he was contemplating burning down Roe Court and murdering his neighbors. It is more chaotic, his thinking than that, she said. In the end, the judge said he was sure it was a substantially planned and premeditated attack. He gave Kagundu five concurrent prison sentences, life without a minimum term for each of the two counts of murder, 20 years for each of the two counts of grievous bodily harm with intent, and 15 years for arson with intent to endanger life. Witnesses recall the killer laughing as terrified people fled the fire. Following the sentencing, a Thames Valley police spokesperson said, The fire spread, causing major damage to the building and trapping residents inside. Tragically, two of the residents, Richard Burgess, aged 46, and Neil Morris, aged 45, were killed. Two other residents were seriously injured and all of the residents lost their possessions and homes, as a result of Kagundu's actions. A large emergency service presence was required at the scene and a major incident was declared. Rest in peace Neil Morris and Richard Burgess, condolences to the families and all affected by the blaze at Roe Court.